Hello, this is Algorithm, and today we will be going over chord forces problem number 635, Kana and the Dragon Quest game. So this problem statement says that you are trying to defeat a dragon, and with the dragon, he has a certain number of health, hit points. You can perform two attacks on him, a void absorption attack, which leaves him with a total of H over 2 plus 10 hit points, or basically devices health by two, rounds it down, and adds 10 hit points to it, or a lightning strike attack, which just straight away takes away 10 hit points from its total health. And you want to output if it is possible to defeat the dragon with M void absorption attacks and N lightning strike attacks. So our strategy for this problem is to take away the maximum amount of health from the dragon so that he results with the least amount of health he can be with. And then we can compare this to check if the dragon is defeated or not. So let's talk about implementing this. To implement it, we need to know when it would be useful to use the void absorption attack or the lightning strike attack. For the void absorption attack, we can check that we want the least amount of health. So we can check if the, mounting, if the remaining amount of health after using a void absorption attack is less than the amount of remaining health of lightning strike attack, then we want to use the void absorption attack. So solving the inequality by using math gives us that the absolute value of h over 2, sorry, the floor function of that, should be greater than 20, or the total hit points should be greater than 40. So from here, we know that by if the health is greater than 40, then we know that we should use a void absorption attack. But one thing to keep in mind is that we want to continuously take away health from the dragon. So say we are at 40 health, but we still have void absorption attacks left. Then we want to keep on doing void absorption attacks. Because the thing is, even if we are at, say, 38 health, Taking a void absorption attack will leave you with 19 plus 10, which is 29 health, which will still take away health from you. And the lightning strike attack takes away 10 health consistently no matter what. So we want to consistently take away health from the dragon. But another thing to keep in mind is that we see that there is a plus 10 in the void absorption attack, which means what if H over 2 becomes something less? and you can actually end up gaining health from the void absorption attack. For example, take h equal to 6. Then the total amount of health remaining would end up being 6 over 2 plus 10, which becomes 13. So the amount of health actually increases from this. So these are two observations which we have to take in mind. Because we, the only thing we want to do is consist, consistently take away health from the dragon to make it minimum. So if we have leftover void absorption attacks, one thing we need to make sure is that h over 2 has to be greater than 10. Or h has to be greater than 20. The reason we want this is because if h over 2 is less than 10, as in our example where h was equal to 6, we actually ended up gaining health. So... We want the total amount of health to be less than 20. That way we can ensure, sorry, the total amount of health to be greater than 20. That way we can ensure that we can remove health from the dragon. So we can consistently do this until we are done with our void absorption attacks. After this, we want to move on to lightning strike attacks. And from there on, it's pretty much straightforward for the implementation. We'll use up all of our lightning strike attacks, and from there, we can check the minimum amount of health of the dragon. To summarize our strategy, we want to use the void absorption attacks until the remaining health is less than 20. Then we want to use our lightning strike attacks. Again, the void absorption attacks is because we want to take away more than 10 health, so the additional 10 health does not increase the dragon's health. So therefore, we have to start with at least 20 health to use the void absorption attack. Go on to our pseudocode implementation. So in the problem, you're going to have n test cases. With each In each test case, you will have the total amount of health, which will be x, the total amount of maximum amount of void absorption attacks you can use, which is n, and the maximum amount of lightning strikes attacks you can use, which is M. Sorry, the amount of test cases is T. 
So from here, you can add a standard for int i equal to 0 to the number of test cases. What you want to do is you want to first use the maximum amount of void absorption attacks is greater than 20. That way we can ensure that we will not add any health to the dragon. Then after that, you want to use the maximum amount of lightning strike attacks. And we can use up all the maximum amount of lightning strike attacks because each lightning strike will decrease the health of the dragon by 10. So it will never increase. So we can use up all of them to maximize the amount of decrease in health we have. And then from there after it, we can check if monster is defeated. Now for organization, for the two types of attacks, we can write separate functions outside of the main int function to help simplify our code and make it easier to understand. So let's look at the code I wrote in order to solve this problem. So here we have n, which represents the number of test cases, hp, which represents the health of the dragon, absorption, which represents the amount of absorption attacks we can use, and lightning to represent the amount of lightning strike attacks we can use. So first we uh, input in the amount of test cases. And then we have inside this huge inside this huge for loop what we're going to do for each test case. First we want to input in the health, the amount of absorption attacks we can use, and the amount of lightning attacks we can use. And then we go into our while loop. So while the hit points of the dragon or the health of the dragon is greater than zero, meaning it is not defeated, and we still have attacks left, then if the health is greater than 20 and we still have an absorption attack left we want to use the attack and th this was again explained in our strategy why the hit points have to be greater than 20. If the hit points are not greater than 20 then we want to use a lightning attack therefore we can continuously decrease the amount of health and at the end we want to use up our absorption attacks. We can print out the necessary statement, yes or no, depending on the amount of hit points. And then here, if the hit points are less than or equal to zero, we will print out a yes. If not, we will print out a no. And for this here, we have two functions, absorb and strike. This is for the function for that attack void absorption and the attack lightning strike. So here, this is a very simple function up here. For the absorption, we are simply just taking the health, dividing it by 2, and adding 10. Because we are using integers, we do not need to worry about whether or not we are taking rounding the number down, because integers automatically truncate the decimal. And for the integer uh, function for the lightning strike, we are simply just reducing the health by 10. So now, if we go inside and run this file, Let's save it and run it. If we submit this, we see that it is accepted. 